My name is Daniel Mahalik. I'm a furniture and product designer. Uh, this is my studio. We're in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Uh, I also teach product design at Parsons uh, School for Design in Manhattan. And I have a two-year-old son. <laughs> I've always been making things. I remember having some friends, I grew up in kind of a small town in Massachusetts, and I remember having a friend who had a little wood shop in their barn and making uh, like a little bookshelf to give my mom as a present for her birthday, and I think I was maybe like seven. I, I distinctly remember that bookshelf, and it was actually kind of cool, because I don't think I was trying to do anything as a kid, I just wanted to cobble stuff together. It was actually my wife, who went to graduate school for a fine arts degree um, and seeing what she was doing in the environment she was in and all the other people around her that were doing all kinds of cool stuff was inspiring to me and I actually kind of got into it through her. I actually make a lot of stuff myself. In other words, I have a line of furniture that we sell directly from the studio and through other retailers and the majority of it is actually made by me or one of my assistants here in the shop. The old models of big centralized factories making products for cheap, putting them on boats and shipping them around the world, that's never going to die out completely, but it's not going to be as dominant as it always has been. So what does that mean? That means that there's new opportunities opening up for how objects get made. I'm realizing that sometimes it's not just about the thing itself or like the finished product that gets made in the studio. I mean, it is about that that's very inspiring, but everything else that surrounds it, all the stories and the cultures that are connected to all of this stuff, I find very inspiring too. There's not a lot of other people using this recycled cork material. That's one thing that, that separates me from a lot of the other furniture designers, especially American furniture designers, because it's a European product. So there's not a lot of people here that are using it. It's an amazing material. It, it does things, if you look at it from a scientific standpoint, it performs in ways that no other natural material does. Um, in terms of just like its lightness, its, its buoyancy, the fact that it's waterproof, the, the way that it bends and moves, and it's, it's both cushioning and sturdy at the same time. It's just, it offers possibilities that other materials don't offer. So I have fun because I feel like I'm always in a new territory and I'm always kind of discovering new stuff that maybe nobody else has ever discovered before. Where I see my work going is I would like to explore new models of manufacturing. New ways of making things that are both healthier um, economically and healthier environmentally, but also that, that respond to the way that culture is right now. And the products that I make or the products that get made in our studio are gonna reflect new models of manufacturing and making things. So that's where I see it going. Yeah, I guess I've always been making things, but I, I've never just thought of myself as an artist with a capital A or anything like that.